Hello, I'm Haley Knipple reporting for the Fort Lewis College Independent News Organization. Welcome to Fort Fuel. In campus news, tomorrow, October 11th, is National Coming Out Day. FLC is celebrating with a masquerade ball at 8 p.m. in the Student Union Plaza. Be sure to come out, support the cause, and join the fun. Today on the show, we welcome our guest, Jamal Campbell, FLC's captain of the football team. Welcome, Jamal. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we're so pleased to have you on the show. And congratulations on winning your first two home games this season. Thank you, thank you. Of course. And what is it like being captain during your senior year, and what are you most looking forward to? Um, it's very important to me, you know, being a senior year, being here all four years. Mm -hmm. Like most players on the team haven't been here all four years. So um, being able to lead the team on and off the field is important. Definitely. And um, can you tell us a little bit about what the team is doing differently to drive success this season versus previous seasons? Um, what we preach this season is be accountable. And that means um, be accountable to your teammates to the school, to everybody around you, and um, you come last as an individual. That sounds great. It's a great motto to have for sure. And this year you have a new head coach. How has your team seen change both on the field and at the games? On the field, it's just, it's more intense. Mm -hmm. um, when he came in this spring, he weeded out all the guys that weren't here to they didn't have the love for the game. So that was important. We needed to play the game of football, you got to love it. Mm -hmm. So that was important. Then um, he preaches winning. Yeah, you, you which know, is the best thing yeah, you can do, right, for know, a team. It feels good. That's yeah. pretty much it. And he's, um, he's a defensive style of coach, right? So that, yeah. is that a little bit different than what you had previously? Um, we had Ed Riffolato, who was the um, – defense coordinator last year and he has coached with him in the past and he has been a player of Coach Smith. So it's pretty much the same technique okay. or um, coaching style if you want to say. So it wasn't much of a transition on the defensive side. Well that's good. And looking at your records it seems like the team plays a little bit better at home. Why do you think that is? Um, what we preach also at home is no one will come home and beat us. Mm -hmm. We preach um, that we have to have a tradition of winning at home. So that winning at home is a great atmosphere for the student life, for the community, and all the Durango. So. Of course. And we have the big homecoming game coming up in a couple of Saturdays against Mesa. And mm -hmm. we're going to win that one, yes, right? Yes, we will. Awesome. And what are you attempting to accomplish as a team this year? Like, what's your biggest goal? As of right now, we need to win away. Mm -hmm. well, all our games we've won is at home. So we need to, um, from now on, it's a playoff game. Okay. We have to win out to make it onto the postseason. And as a team, we, we see this and we want to be successful. We don't want to let this town or the school down. Great. And we have an away game coming up, mm -hmm. and that's against the School of Mines, yes, right? Yes. Great. And that's on what date? The, uh, October 12th. October 12th. Saturday. All right. Well, we'll send you good vibes. You. And how, as, um, as students, can we generate a winning atmosphere both at the games and on campus? Um, at the games, just come to the games. You yeah. Know? Just having a full crowd, which we haven't had in a while, but these past two games, the bleachers have been crowded. It gives us a great feeling as a football player. You just look behind you. You have the, the school um, behind your back. On your side. Yeah. Definitely. Well, thank you again, Jamal, for joining us today. That wraps up Fort Fuel. Be sure to head online for all of your campus sports and community news and check out the big yellow boxes for our new print issue. Again, I'm Haley Knipple saying thanks for watching and have a pleasant tomorrow.